Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. All right, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who well and teach well and honors to you brothers who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith. All right, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash, Brock a thumb unto you sincere and you hopeful elect. Okay, so this, um, this, is another, this is another day in wretched ass Babylon the Great. Not the daughter of Babylon, more specifically. Alright. So I'm at uh basically the new camp spot for right now. Very busy four-way intersection, man. You know, and that's and that's part of it. So the uh the base of this lesson is going on Acts chapter four. Uh, but I just want to say this through the spirit, man, that you you have to be on the highways and byways. Alright? That I don't matter whether you're in, in Dallas, Texas, or you're in the middle of nowhere, Idaho. You just got to find somewhere, you know, where there, where there is a high volume of, of traffic. Because really, us being out here, you know, even if there's nobody that comes on, comes upon you and, and you know, speaks to you or whatever. The, hey, the Lord is having people to see this. So by people being out here and seeing this, they're going to be like, what's that? And for some, it, it seals them for salvation, and it can seal them for uh, destruction. You have a lot of people, they're going to talk shit. They see us out here, what are they doing? Right, and this looks like a very strange work. And that's why it said in the scriptures that we would be a proverb, uh, a, a, a byword, right? And that we would astonish the uh, uh, the people, right? That we would be in astonishment, roughly, roughly paraphrasing, you know? And being out here on the highways and byways is the best thing that a man of Israel can do. Who, hey man, you can ask, you can ask anybody, what's the best thing you can be in this life? People will say a doctor, people will say a lawyer, people will say, you know, all these other things. But if you think about it, we are all those things. What does a lawyer do? He upholds the law, right? That's what we're doing. What does a doctor do? You know, a physician, right? He heals the sick. That's what, through, that's what we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiel Shai. Not through our own, right? You got a doctor who goes to uh, uh, school, what, eight, nine, ten years? You know what I mean? To become a doctor. He didn't do that on his own, man. Okay? He had people that taught them. All right, but let's get straight into it. All right, so uh, this is the book of Acts, chapter 4, and verse... I'm going to start... Start at 10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, right? Nobody else, that by the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashat of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other. So you're not going to find any salvation in Jesus Christ, Buddha, none of that. The only way that you're going to find salvation is through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, right? And specifically, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Because what did he say right here, right? Let's go back up. He says, so I can, he says, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, all right? So... Uh, through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai does all the things that he does, man. And through uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we do all, all, all things, you know. Lord's will, uh, uh, for righteousness' sake. We don't want to be out here to be seen of men. A lot of you brothers, man, you don't like large crowds. Me personally, I don't really like large crowds. But <laughs> that's that's part of this doctrine. The doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you gotta, you have to be on the highways and byways. You gotta be teaching. Okay, now there are certain times, certain lessons where you know you may be off on the side, or you know you may do a sit down. But as far as camp, you know the actual day, day or days that you go to camp, you're supposed to be on the highways and byways, right? And the people are supposed to, people are supposed to see you, man. You know, they gotta get this work. They got to get this work, man. And they know what time it is. The people that pass by here, left and right and all that, they know what time it is. And they know exactly what we're doing, man. All right? So it says, 
neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So there is no other name besides Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You come up with any other name, you're going to be destroyed, man. And good. Good. You got all these other names, man, from all these other different camps. We, we ain't going to give you other camps no shine. So we just going to say this, that all you other camps, you're teaching all these other names, right? Hey, through the spirit, I got to speak on them. I-U-Y-C, I-S-U-P-K, G-O-C-C, -G right? Uh, uh, W-F-I, Watchmen for Israel, all, all these different groups. H-O-H-O-D-C, which I've never seen one of their videos. All these other groups, man, they got they got di different doctrines. Some of them got different names. All right, so with the ones that are preaching the name of Yahweh, Shemi Shai, kudos to you, man. You know, but you got a lot of camps that ain't that ain't teaching right, man. I was just watching a live stream from the Elder Brothers in uh, Los Angeles. You had some guy come up with a pendant. He had on a pendant, and it was a Star David pendant. So when I first pressed it, I'm like, oh, you know, they probably found a brother who knows he's an Israelite. As soon as I press it, all right. This Jake is saying a bunch of bugged out shit. So even those who know about, uh, you know, Israel, who know about Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they come in with their own doctrine. We supposed to be teaching what was taught to us. We're not supposed to be teaching our, our own made up, you know, doctrine, man. That's how that's how you get put to death out here. The remixing and bring, you know, bringing your own opinion into things, man. Teach what was taught and keep it moving, okay? Anyways, it says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, they perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. They marveled. And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, what shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem and we cannot deny it. So you have certain people, they ain't gonna deny this truth. They're gonna say, okay, well this is real. This is the real deal. But at the same time, they are gonna continue to try to come up against us. Why? Because the Lord put the spirit on them to do that. The Lord put the spirit on us to come out here, man. So he's gonna put the spirit, he's gonna put the spirit on the wicked to be the wicked. That's why we can't, hey, we can't help but condemn the damn wicked. All right? Because plenty of opportunities are coming to them in order in order to uh, repent. Yet they ain't repenting. These niggas don't want to repent out here. They're thinking about what they about to go eat. But, you know, how they, how they, they going to go after this? These different women they about to pop, they're not worried about the scriptures, you know? That's why the Lord is not worried about them. Hey, we're in the time, we're in the time in which these people out here getting put to death, man. Alright, and we gotta put we gotta proclaim this boldly. We gotta proclaim boldly. If your ass ain't getting it together, you getting put to death out here, man. Alright? By Yahweh Bashim Shai, who not only is uh, allowing these miracles to take place, right? But he's causing destruction to take place. He's causing people to get put to death. Young and old, man. Alright? So it says, lock him. It says, uh, but that it spread no further among the people. Let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. So how do they threaten us now? They threaten us by ostracizing us from society, uh, 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 trying to convince our family that we'll know what we're talking about, you know, trying to uh, uh, get us caught up at our jobs, get us uh, caught up with our women. Ain't none of that going to work, man. All right? Ain't none of that going to work. The only, the only thing that you can do is sit back, relax, and enjoy this show, man. Okay? Because you're not, you can you come up against it. You can do all you want to do, but it's, it's not going to work. This word, this word is meant to come out, man. All right? That's beautiful. Examples to continue to happen to you other nations, man, and Israel. 
All right? Now, we can say, hey, we don't want to, we don't want to be a part of the judgment. But the Lord is judging us every single day, man. Okay? Us being out here and teaching, that really, that's a judgment, if you think about it, because we got to go through certain things, man. That's, that's the time that we're in. We're in the time of getting judged. We're in the time of having to do things, man. Such as come out here on the highways and byways. Now, now at times, you know what I mean, you may, you may not feel good, you know, whatever the case is. You gotta come out here anyways, man. You have to present your body as a living sacrifice. Here in Florida, it gets, it gets hot as shit. All right, certain places, New York, Connecticut, all, everywhere up north, Chicago, you know, it's, it's 20 degrees outside. That's that's what they got to deal with. That's their judgment. We all get judged in a particular way, man. And that's something we got to deal with. You got to continue to deal with it, right? Something happens to you, you got to deal with it. That's what, we, that's, that's what we have to deal with, man. All right, these people, they don't got to really deal with nothing. So that, when, so that when hell breaks loose, when you niggas out, when you niggas out here digging through the garbage can, all right? When you, <laughs> you gonna be looking for food like when a crackhead is looking for a crack rock, man. Checking in the, checking in the carpet for crack rocks. All right, that's how you gonna be checking for food. You know, and we want that. Okay, for th not only threatening the men, but threatening your how about Shmuel Shai? How you gonna threaten the Lord's son, man? You gotta really ask yourself that, cause you got fucking demons on you. All right, anyways, it says. Hey man, through the spirit, we ain't come out here to play no fucking games with y'all, man. Let me go ahead and say that. Because everybody got a, a real fucking hee-hee-ha-ha -ha spirit on them. That folly spirit. This, this is not a game. We're in the times in which judgment is coming down. Judgment is being rained. Rained upon the earth, man. Like, like hell, man. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. All right, anyways. It says... They called them Salakia. This is the book of Acts, chapter chapter 4 and verse 18. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Yahweh Shai. So even back then they was teaching bullshit. Right? You had people that were that were teaching all these other names, then you had the men that were teaching the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? So even back then, you know, you had all these different false gods. All these different false religions, right? And what were the men of your how about Shemiah and Shai doing? They were still teaching, right? We, hey, man, we don't care. We're going to keep teaching, man. That's one of the things that we constantly hear, man. You keep, keep teaching. Who cares? Your woman, hey, man, your woman leaves, you keep teaching. Your family don't deal with you no more. Keep teaching, man. All right, because ultimately the Lord is going to reward you in the end. And he's going to reward you while you're here, man. All right, we being rewarded. And we being rewarded with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That don't mean we getting gifts in the mail. Right, but the Lord is dropping down this knowledge upon us. All right, that's all we need. Faith, grace, mercy, perseverance, steadfastness. Right? That's what we need. We don't need the support of the people, man. All right? Yesterday, my brother had a, uh, a graduation. He graduated high school. And all you had was a bunch of proud niggas. All you nations, man. All you na all you nations. You proud, proud as hell. Walking around with your chest out. What you got your chest out for? Nigga, you through. You're toast. All right? We in the time of people getting put to death out here. And I laugh for a second because as I look out to the stand, Hundreds of people there. Shit, probably probably thousands. I don't know. But I sat there and I laughed because I thought to myself, most of these people are going to be destroyed. And that to me, that to me is very funny, man. Because the people who walk around here with such a a, a a fucking bravado, with such a with such a, a chin up in the air type of spirit, and there's no reason for that. Your, your car that you got, you still owe ten thousand, twelve thousand. You got a house. You still owe $150,000 on. Everything is fucking temporary. Your job, you know. 
what can what can you grasp a hold of here in society and it and it don't fucking deteriorate deteriorate in between your fingers man nothing everything is everything is temporary your woman your kids your job everything everything is falling apart except for your how about you have a shot and and the doctrine that comes with your how about you have a shot he comes in the volume of the book man he is he is this word all right y'all the shot he is salvation he is the deliverer hey because this book coincides with our uh, salvation you we can't be out here just teaching with no bible man you know we you need this tool in, in order to be saved that's why you know in the time of jacob's trouble in the time of the famine of the word us not having a bible there's going to be certain brothers that get a bible get a hold of a bible have a bible there's going to be some of us that are not going to have a bible man that's the time in which the Lord's grace is going to come in, man. So while we have the opportunity, we need to be learning about this all we can, day in and day out. And if you have that, you know, that feeling, that spirit, you know, that you're, that you're cooling off, man, reheat yourself. Turn up, man. Turn up through the spirit. These, pe these people are not going to reheat you. They're going to try to cool you down, man. You know, you get, you get injured. You know, fuck it. You know, you get injured. Oh, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. Take it easy. Nah, man. Nah, man. We'll leave taking it easy. We'll leave that up to you, niggas, man. We have we have to continue to push forward and go hard for y'all about shimmy out shot. Cause who else is gonna do it outside of the whole full Ain't nobody else gonna do this. Nobody is going to stand on the highways and hedges and and boldly proclaim that our Lord, right, is here is here to save. He's here to save the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Hey, and no, nobody else. All right, and that's why you don't have people lined up down the block trying to learn this truth is because it's not for them, man. They have to understand that, yet they're not going to understand. That's what we're here for. We're here, we're here ultimately to, to, to teach, right? Get this word out and, and, to be, and, and to be the governing body of the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're here for, man. But we can see it. We can see it. We can we can see us ruling over you other nations. We can see us in the kingdom of heaven. We can see, hey man, we can see it. We can see it all, man. And the Lord has given us that golden opportunity to continue to teach, despite having certain things happen, like you know, fall, right? You get back up. All right. But anyways, it says, Salakia. It says, um, verse eighteen, and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Yahushua. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of Yahweh to hearken unto you more than unto Yahweh, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So we can't help it. We can't. What does the scripture say? That we cannot help but prophesy. What else are we going to do? You think we just going to get all this knowledge and just keep it to ourselves? No, nah, man, we got to teach. We got to teach. It don't matter if you're 14 years old, all right? If you got the proper understanding, all right, you to the point in which you can teach, you need to be teaching. And a lot of times, you think you're too young to teach. I thought I was too young to teach. You know, you're in your early 20s. You're like, man, I, you know, when you think of a, <laughs> when you think of a prophet, you think of somebody who's like, you know, 85, 90 years old. You know, they got a beard down to their feet. No, nah, man, the Lord, hey, the Lord is inspiring uh, uh, young men. The Lord is inspiring young men on, on the daily, man. Okay? Anyways, it says, um, Slakia. So, when they, so when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified Yahweh for that which was done. For the, uh, for the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was showed. All right, and being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. It says, and when they heard that, 
they lifted up their voice to Yahweh with one accord. So with one accord. It wasn't like, you know, you had 10 different brothers and each brother got a different doctrine. No. One accord, man. All right? The men of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai are under one accord. All right? The hopeful, at least, you know, the true hope, the true elect, right? Which right now we are the hopeful elect. But, you know, you don't have any of the elect out here just preaching whatever, man. We preaching the gospel of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. We're not preaching nothing else. All right? Anyways, it says... And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they had heard that, they lifted up their voice to Yahweh with one accord and said, Lord, thou art power, which has which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. So the Lord made everything. The Lord made Israel, right? The Lord made the other nations. The Lord made everything. So if you coming up against our Lord, that's just what you're supposed to be doing. We don't, we're not marveling at the fact that people are coming up against this word. That's what they're supposed to do, man. All right? And it says, Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? So you raging, right? Hey, two-thirds of Israel is raging also. Cause they they got that um, they got that heathen uh, mindset man. and spirit too. They're coming in that they're coming in that heathenistic spirit. Which the Lord man, the Lord ain't dealing with that. The Lord ain't having it. All right. I seen a video. <laughs> it was a bunch of crabs, uh, a pile of crabs, probably about two thousand, three thousand crabs piled together, man. And all the comments on the video was, mm, that sure looks tasty. You have a heathen mindset. See, Jake, Jake loved doing heathenistic shit. That's his thing. That's what he loves to do. Because he was, he was set up to do that. All right? Just like we're set up to bring out these righteous words, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right, but anywho, it says, um, The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Hamashiach, so and against his uh, anointed. So all these other nations through their different space forces and their different military, uh, um, their different military institutions, they're going to come up against our Lord and, and fail miserably. Fail miserably. Not one chariot is, not one chariot is going to be shot down. It says, For of a truth against the holy child, Yahweh Shai, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together. So all you niggas, all you niggas, man. They go 12. See, that just goes to show how you know that E, E basically rules this earth. See, because you get pulled over for speeding, but you, you see them? They're going to clean 70, 80 miles per hour with no, no repercussions because they got to go where they got to go. So ultimately, this damn devil makes up the law here. All right? But soon, coming very soon, our Lord is going to basically get this place back and establish his heavenly father's rules, man. Our heavenly father's rules. So like it. Because Yahweh Shah Mashak's heavenly father is our heavenly father also. You know? Hey, and they want to take that from us. They want to take away the fact that we are related to who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ if you are of the 12 tribes of Israel. Even if you're of Issachar, Zebulon, Naphtali, Asher, you know what I mean? You are related to who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Because you are Israelite also. You know? So it's not just Judah. This is not this is not a Judah thing. You got a bunch of niggas putting, oh yeah, big Judah. 
Judah got next. No, Israel, the hopeful elect of Israel, right? The elect of Israel have next, man. All right? Because even in the kingdom of heaven, you gonna have, you know, all of Israel is gonna be saved, but the elect, right? The 144,000 and the one thirds are gonna be the real, the real movers and shakers of the kingdom of heaven, the real big wigs, so to speak, man. And then you're gonna have average citizens of Israel. Now, the, even the average citizens of Israel are going to be, uh, uh, you know, kings, princes, you know? But everything has a level to it. You know, like we'll never reach the level of the elder apostles. We could be out here for a hundred years, man. The spirit is just working with them on a heavier level. And so is that a reason to, you know, be upset? Is that a reason? upset no man we have to hey we have to get like them that's why they're set up they're set up as an example man right for people uh for people for us to look look to and look towards man we're supposed to be looking we're supposed to be looking towards we're supposed to be looking towards the heavenly father man all right and how is shy is looking towards the heavenly father our elders are looking towards the heavenly father so everybody has an example Right, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate example of what it means to be a man in this truth, man. All right, it says, 4, verse 28. So like in Acts chapter 4, verse 28. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determine before it to be done. So this is preordained, this is predestined. Us being out here is preordained and it's predestined. All right, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing that we can do. We need to bring out the word because the Lord has predestined us to bring this word out. All right? With a, with a sense of, of fire under our ass, so to speak. All right? It says, And now, Lord, behold their, their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. So we're going to speak this word boldly. We're not going to say, oh, we, we think the name is Yahweh Shai. No, we know the name is Yahweh Shai. We know that the name is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're not, we're not going to sit here and say we don't know. Of course we know through the Spirit, man. And these, these people, they're so sure about everything else. You're so sure about your job, your woman, your family, your kids. Oh, you're sure about everything else, but you're not, you're not sure about the one thing that's definite. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You're not, you're not concerned about that, man. All right, so you may get sh Shalawams. No, you, you, that's great what you're doing. Nah, man. These people are anti hamashiach You got to understand that. Okay? It could, be, it could be your family. It could be your woman. This, this is how the devil works, man. The, the so-called white man, he going to put that he gonna put that demon in their mind, man. Right? That they, that they are they're on the right side. Right? They, they help it. Nah, man. If you want to help... Stop, stop, stop fucking smoking. Stop, stop eating abominable foods. Follow the high holy days. I mean, shit, you know? And Jake, uh, Jake, throughout all time, right, has always been doing something. Something to go off. Right? Even, even us that were in the, that were, you know, that were in the world, man. The Lord had to get them demons up off of us. Alright? But we, we were doing something. You know, we're not going to follow the law perfectly now, but we need to have that mindset that we can follow the law perfect by trying to the best of our ability, man. You have to at least try, man. You got to at least try to the best of your ability to follow your Hawa Ba'a Shem Yahu Shah. All right? That's it and that's all. That's all That's all you can do. It's locked here. It says, verse 30, By stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Yahweh Shai. Right, by stretching forth thine hand to heal. So we reaching out. These video epistles is reaching out. Right? We, we trying to heal. Yeah, but most of these people, right? They're not trying to hear it. Why? Because it's not for them to hear. Right? They're, they're not supposed to hear it. Two thirds of Israel is gonna hear this word, talk shit. All you other nations, you not, the word ain't even for you. All right? 
you know? And these people, they can, they can do whatever they want to do. Just know you're going to get fucking destroyed. And we can't wait for that, man. We can't wait for these people to start getting destroyed out here on a major scale. Because they get, you know, they getting jacked up. You know, but now not to the, uh, um, to the magnification of the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, so it reads uh, Acts chapter 4 and verse 31. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai with boldness. So what would have happened had they had just been threatened and said, oh, I'm not going to teach anymore? The Spirit wouldn't be working with them, Right? You can't be scared. Now, you know, just as a man, there's going to be sometimes you get scared when certain things happen. You know, that's naturally going to happen. But you can't let being scared deter you, deter you from this truth. You got a lot of uh, you got a lot of brothers out here. Oh, I I can't teach because I'm afraid my woman is going to take my kids if she see me out on the highways and byways teaching. I'm afraid my I'm afraid my boss is going to see me. I'm, I'm a you know. I'm afraid what my family is gonna say. Man, fuck them. All right. U ultimately, what does the scripture say? To, uh, to seek, right? To seek your own salvation. These, these people, these people ain't gonna seek their own salvation. So it, ha it has to be up to you, man. All right. Because these people are gonna do what they wanna do. Your, your your baby mama, your kids, your your mom, your pops, brothers, sisters, cousins, aunties, nephews. They gonna do what they wanna do. So you need to do what you need to do for, for righteousness sake. Alright? This is a righteous act that we are doing. So why should you feel ashamed for that, man? Alright? But anyways, going back um, uh, to the couple of notes that I wrote down. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this guy, he turned the corner. He was speeding off. He turned the corner so fast. A bunch, a bunch of his shit is in the way now. All his shit fell out of his trunk. And now it's in the middle of the road. All right, am I gonna am I gonna be a good citizen and risk my life and, and, and go over there and get that? No. All right. We gonna let that be there because that's what's supposed to be there. All right. If somebody if somebody hit it. They clip it, it goes up under their car, pops their tire. That's what it is, all right? Be, hey, man, being a, a good citizen, we're supposed to be a good citizen of the kingdom of heaven by bringing this word out, not by, you know, not by going and, um, you know, doing a community garden, feeding the homeless, which all that, that's great. Those are all great things, man. But ultimately, all right, we are set up to, we are set up to teach them. <laughs> and of course it's Jake. Jake with fucking dreads down this back, man. You 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 need to you need to cut them dreads, Jake. A lot of y'all out a lot of y'all out here, man, you got um you caught you caught up over the hairstyle. Here it is, you agree with everything else. Right? Like you um guys at uh uh Watchmen for Israel. Half of them got hair down their back, all these other such things. What's the point? Here it is, you, you know you you Teaching halfway right, yet yeah, your head, you know, you got the hair down your back, you know, you got you teaching that the chip ain't the mark of the beast, you just going all the way off, man. And that, of course, that's Jake. Jake is caught up over vain things, man. Okay, when we were told to cut our hair, we cut our hair. What you gonna do? We just do what you were told to do. Alright? Because the elder apostle Tahara said that through the spirit. All right, Jake, your hair getting too long. Cut your hair. And before you know, you know, you had brothers with hair, you know, certain hairstyles and all that. Cut it. All right, con. That very next day. All right, I, I went to sleep. I woke up that very next day, man. I, I cut my hair. I cut my own hair, man. That's it. 
cut it right off. Well, you know, we don't got the time to sit here and try to debate with our elders. Where does it say? No, oh, man. Everything is through the spirit, and these these words uh, 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 back up what's said through the spirit. Nothing is said through the spirit without reference, man. You know? Okay, so it says uh, Acts chapter four. Well, no, Salakia. I was going to this other point. All right, so um, with that being uh, said. You know, the spirit coming upon them. I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 11. And the point is at verse 12, which in the notes, I wrote down uh, a symbol of the outcast of Israel. So I'm going to just go to Isaiah chapter 11 and I'm going to just start off um, from the top. And just make my way down uh, to verse uh, 12. If, if, you know, the Lord uh, permits that, if the Lord allows that. Because you never know, you may go somewhere else with it. You know? It's like you. Alright, so this is the book of Isaiah chapter 11. So Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 1. All right. And they shall come forth a rod from out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. All right. And through David, all right, our, that's, uh, that's where our Lord sprang forth. Right. Uh, the scriptures say, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So, you know, that was preordained and predestined to happen. Okay, it says, um, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, right, Yahweh Shai, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And our Lord, right, set, uh, set out on a certain path through the fear of Yahweh. Can you imagine what would happen if, if Yahweh Shai said, no, nah, I don't want no parts of this. I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? He he had fear. Even Yahweh Shai had the fear of the Heavenly Father. That's what made him so wise. It was through his fear. Right? He feared Yahweh. Okay? So we have to we have to do the same thing. We have to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You got certain people say, I, I don't I don't fear man. I don't fear man. Jesus was a man. I don't fear man. Man, Yahweh Shai, he has the ability to, to, to turn your ass inside out. He got the ability to make you spontaneously combust. You hear different stories about people's cell phones explode in their pocket they're, they're, you know, they're, uh, while they're pumping gas. You know? Them sp shit, even spontaneously combust. The Lord can do that. The Lord can literally, the Lord can literally turn you inside out if He wants to. Man. He can make you stub your toe, get an infection in your toe, and have your leg get cut off. Man. That's 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 our power. All right, so it says, um, it's locked here. Uh, it says, "And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him." So when our Lord, when our Lord got the um got the go ahead right he was given permission by Yahweh to teach the whole of life he didn't just say oh, I'm, I'm gonna just go and I'm gonna do what I want no he's doing what Yahweh right tells him to do right that great commission people being commissioned to teach this word right in the names of Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai it says spirit of counsel and might. So, our, hey, our Lord, right, Yahweh Shah Mashat, his counsel is Yahweh. Right? He, he's counsel. Even our Lord had counsel. Right? And we have counsel. Different elders and brothers that are above us. 
that's our council. You know? Yahweh Shemiah Shai is our council. If the spirit uh, in the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shai is dwelling uh, uh, within certain men, right? Certain uh, hopeful elect men of Israel, then we have to follow that. Now, of course, we're not following man, but we are following we are following the spirit that's within man, right? And and in order for the spirit to be in you, you have to be of Israel. That's it. Point, point blank period. You're not arguing it. That's what it is. All right? And it says, And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. So a lot of us started off, right? We didn't know we didn't know how to teach. And the Lord gave us a quick understanding. Right? You gotta drop certain things quick. You know? If, you know, different brothers doing all sorts of abominations. You gotta stop. The sooner you, the sooner you stop doing the bullshit. Better it is gonna be on you, man. All right, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be straight up with it. When I first came into this truth, I was smoking. Right, and you get to a certain point, you're like, man, I, I gotta stop smoking. I'm not gonna understand this unless I stop smoking. So you know, I prayed, I prayed that, I prayed that demon away. And sure enough, I don't smoke. You know. Hey, Brockathy Alvashmi Alshakana. That's beautiful, man. I thought I was gonna be you know, I thought I was gonna be smoking all my life. Yet, the spirit of Pavi Alvashmi Alshai took that demon off me. That's a demon. That smoking demon, I don't, you know, it's certain brothers that haven't smoked ever a day in their life. Good. Man, that smoke, that smoke demon is heavy, man. <laughs> That's the spirit. Somebody just tossed out a cigarette. <laughs> All right, uh, and it reads, It shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor. And what's the righteousness? The words that come out of this book, right? Uh, it says, And reprove with equity, for the meek of the earth, and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. All right, so he's going to he's going to destroy the wicked, which are which are you other nations, chiefly E, and two thirds of Israel who come in that they come with that wicked ass spirit on them, man. And how is that going to be? That's going to be through nuclear missiles. Your ass is getting hit with nuclear missiles. If you, ask, if you ask different brothers that in this truth, do you mind, you know, the other nations going into slavery? Do you mind people getting hit with missiles? They're going to say, of course not. We want that. We want that to come, and we want that to hasten, man. Right? Our elder apostle Tahara has deemed this year the hastening of the coming of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So with him coming, but prophecy's coming. Right? Prophecy's got to come, man. Because we had the trailer for this movie. The trailer for this movie was prior to Yahweh Shai being born. You had people prophesying him being on the scene. That was the trailer for this movie. Then, you had the actual movie beginning when our Lord was born, man. That is just the beginning of the movie. As far as, you know, uh, uh, Israel coming into the understanding of who they are. You know, because even back then, all right, the children of Israel knew that they were the children of Israel. But that started this whole movie over 2,000 years ago. Now we at the end. We at the end of the movie, and now we waiting for the credits, man. We waiting for the credits. We waiting for the credits. All right. And it says, "And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins." All right. So faith. That's what keeps us in line, man. To know that these, these words are faithful and that they are true. Because if we didn't believe that these words are faithful and true, we wouldn't have a reason to follow them. Yet we follow these words because through the Spirit, we know that these words are true. So we have to remain faithful to our Lord. We have to remain faithful to our husband, man. Our husband is Yahweh Shah my shot, whether we, whether we want to uh, uh, dis uh, disclose that or not. It's a lot of it's a lot of people 
that don't know that. So by us speaking on that, by us saying these things, right, we're bringing that to the light. We're bringing that forward, man. Right, we have to continue to speak on these things, man. We got to continue to speak on them. Continue to speak the names of Yahweh Hashem Shine. All right? Continue to move forward through the Spirit. This is what the Lord wants us to do. All right? You suburban moms out there, what's the first thing they do? They talk about their husband. My, my husband works for this company. My husband makes this many figures. My husband bought this. My husband bought that. The glory of a woman, right? Ultimately, it's her husband, man. That's why we glory, we glory in Yahweh Shah and Masha. We don't glory in us. What are, what the, what are we? We ain't nobody. Jacob, Jacob ultimately is a worm, man. So who do we, who do we glory in? We glory in the Heavenly Father through His Son, man. That's what we're supposed to do. Alright, so it reads. Uh, slot here. shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them and the cow and the bear shall feed their young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cock trice den so even the children in the kingdom of heaven are going to have powers Right? Specifically the children of Israel. Now you other nations, you're not going to have no powers. You're going to be regular, average. If the children of Israel are going to be able to come out the womb, right? Like when you watch that cartoon, uh, Hercules, right? Hercules came out the womb. He was lifting, you know, lifting lions above his head and shit. That's how we're going to be. That's how we're going to be, man. You're going to have a child. He's going to be able to be born, man, and do amazing things, you know? The, hey, this is the Heavenly Father we're talking about. So look for the Spirit on, on, a, on a, a newborn baby to speak. Obviously, they're going to be speaking Hebrew in the kingdom of heaven. But to speak, you, you know, and we're going to find that out when we get there. But we do know this. damn devils need to be enslaved. You're too disruptive, man. And when we, when we talk in the kingdom, oh, you're going to listen. If, if, if you over talk, if you even think about over talking uh, uh, anybody from Israel, man, even an everyday regular citizen, man, your ass is going to get put to death. That's going to happen, man. You're not going you're not going to be voicing your opinion. You're not going to be doing none of that. You're going to be getting swiftly judged, man. Okay. Our, our, you know, our infants are gonna be telling you what to do, man. A, you know, a, a small child, you know, telling you what to do. Three, four years old. Here, pick this up, Ian. Put it over there, and make haste. You know, you're gonna be like, yes, sire. <laughs> you know, you gonna do it. Or guess what? If you hey, if you if you defy, guess what we gonna do, man? We gonna we gonna set that we gonna set that child up to shing off with your head, all right? So you had different um you had different rulerships, in which I believe it was uh, Manasseh, who was uh, 12 years old when he became a king. So what more somebody who's you know four or five years old? All right, you four or five years old, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be set up, man. That's something to look forward to, to be to be set up, to be in a, in a, in a righteous place, all right? Because if you got somebody at 12 years old having a whole kingdom, man, imagine, imagine the kingdom of heaven, man. Ima imagine a, a four-year-old, five-year-old directing, uh, <laughs> directing really all you other nations, man. All right, he's not going to be in fear for his life. He's not gonna be, you know, he's not gonna be worried about anything, man, because he's gonna have that perfect body, man. 
You're going to be born with a perfect body, you children of Israel. That's something to look forward to. Ain't nothing to look forward to up in here. All right? Your 401k cashing out. What? Going on vacation once a year. You work, you work all year just to be on vacation for two weeks. Somewhere you're spending your own money, man. What kind of vacation is that, man? We're going to have a permanent vacation in the kingdom. And ain't none that these people are going to be able to do about it. But sigh and wish that they and wish that they were the children of Israel. That's all they're going to be able to do. Anyways, forgive me. It says, verse 9, They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Yeah, so it's going to be nothing but knowledge, wisdom, and understanding flowing. Because you're going to have, you're going to have billions upon billions of Israelites. All right? What does the scripture say? That the Lord is going to enlarge our tent. Going, you know, you got all these. Loud ass cars and they're not going nowhere. Anyways, but you got these super earths. You got all these other things. So the Lord can the Lord can make the earth bigger. He's going to make the earth bigger. It's locked. You no, know, he's gonna do that. Okay? It says verse 10. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. So technically, you know, you have two sets of Gentiles. You got the heathens, and then you have uh, the Israelite foreigners. So this is speaking about the Israelite foreigners right here. It says, um, it says that his rest shall be glorious. So you other nations, you're not resting. You might as well, get, man, get your rest now. You're not getting no rest in the kingdom. That's not happening, man. You're gonna be working. You know, you work, you work and work. You know? It's like that song the car wash. You know, you go you go work and work. All you gonna know is work, just like Jake here, man. You know? <laughs> when you're on injured leave, like I'm on injured leave or whatever, all you know is work. Shit, you know? And mentally, you're still in that work mode. You're going to constantly work. All right? Then you got to think about, you know, you got to think about money. Right? You got to think, you know, all these other things, man. All the other stresses outside, all the other stresses outside of how am I going to seek the kingdom? That's the one thing that they don't want you to stress about. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Everyone's going to heaven and everybody's going to be happy and kumbaya. No, nah, man. That ain't the case. That's why, hey, man, we need to be seeking Yahweh by Shemiah Shai while, while we can seek him. All right? And it's so cold. <laughs> it's, so, it's so cold that they really, really, they want Jake <laughs> to, to be fucked up. Because, you know, you got uh, these different programs. They're like, yeah, it's a twenty, it's a twenty-week wait period. You, you tell me, you tell me. I got, I got to lean on this ledge, like one of the elders, man. You, you tell me, who out here is gonna be able to not work for twenty, for twenty fucking weeks? For twenty weeks, that's ten checks. If we're going by a two-week period. We're gonna be out here and be able to miss ten checks. Nobody I know. All right. Nobody I know really only E can pull some shit like that off. And maybe Moab. Maybe Moab. And and, and maybe Elon. E Elon too money hungry for that. E Elon work. Elon, Elon got a hundred thousand dollars in the bank. And Elon still working nine to five. That's just that's just how Elon is, man. Right? But you stuck between a rock and a hard place, man. 
That's part of being, that's part of the burden of Babylon. Being here, man. You stuck between having to wait, which ain't nobody waiting on that. You know what I mean? As soon as we get the opportunity, you know, we jump on things. That's how, that's how Jake is, man. So, you know, you got certain people telling you, oh, well, you know, can your body handle it? Hey, we can do all things through your how about shimmy out shop. So it's going to be all right, you know. Like I told my so-called woman. Whatever the, whatever the fuck that is, all right? And I told my so-called woman, yeah, it'll be all right. So what? So what I'm hurt? Who cares, man? Jake, Jake was on the was on the plantation picking cotton with a broke back, herniated disc in his neck. Alright? Broken ribs and things like that. You know? So you gotta be in that mindset. Oh, I'll be alright. You see, playing a victim here in uh, playing a victim here in E society, you ain't gonna get nowhere. You got some of these uh, so-called white women. Right? They're able to be on uh, disability and work and get two checks. And all the while, their husband is paying for every damn thing. So they, they, they cashing out. Right? Then you got Jake. Jake. Jake been working. Jake been working since high school. Jake ain't got $2,000 savings in the bank. Man. Every, and, and you know, like the scriptures say, man, it's like, it's like having holes in your money bag, man. Every time, every time you get a little bit of money, something happens. That's part of the curses, man. And that's something that you other nations ain't gonna be used to. When the shit really hits the fan, so to speak, you're not gonna be able to uh, handle what it means to be uh, poor, man. Jake, Jake been poor all his life. You know, I can speak for myself. I don't come from no money. Most money I ever had in my hand at one time was when I went and I bought my first car. That's the most money I ever had at one at, at one complete time, man. You know. Outside of that, Jake, Jake don't Jake don't don't got money like that. But Jake worked. Jake worked relentlessly. Yet Jake don't get money like that, man. Why? Because it's it's set up to be that way, man. That's another wreck. This is on the daily, man. <laughs> but, it, but anyways, yeah, man. Jake, Jake don't have an opportunity to grow in this society, man. So, so Jake, all you young Jake out there. You know, you, you young Jake, man, don't don't try to be part of E society. Seek seek the Alba Shimi Al Shai. Now that's what's gonna get you somewhere. Although these these people say the contrary, that's what's gonna get you somewhere, man. All right. Okay, and it reads, um, Slakia. Verse 11, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. Slide. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall say his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left. So yeah, we left. We are left. We're left here in this society, man. You know that. Yet you want to you want to continue to act like you're not left here, man. We are left. We're stuck. We cannot be taken out of this place unless you die. Or the Lord comes and saves you. That's it. That's the only two options you got, you children of Israel. All right. Now, as far as you other nations, then, death, death. That's it. You gotta, you gotta pass away. Even when our Lord comes here, comes back to the earth, the uh, heathens that don't, you know, get put to death, they're eventually, they're eventually gonna die. Right, but by them having children, you know they're gonna quote unquote live on. You know, but ultimately, you know, you're not gonna have um, Japheth, Moab, you know, 
Elam, so on and so forth, Ishmael, right? I can't stand Ishmael. But, you know, y'all aren't going to be living for 300, 400 years. That's not going to happen. You're going to have a lifespan. Now, what I will say to the spirit is that by, you know, there's not going to be any more GMOs and, and <laughs> you know, and all these other deterrents. So these other nations, their lifespan is going to be increased a little bit, but it ain't going to be nothing crazy, you know? It ain't going to be nothing crazy. You just gonna not be, you know, looking like how you looking now. Man, Ishmael out here looking bad, man. Every time I see Ishmael, like, he just not doing too good. He got all the money in the world. He look like shit, you know? But anyways, it reads. We shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. So there you go. We're, we're, we are set up, man, as a, as, a, as a shining beacon. Speaking about the old full of light. Right, it says, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. And how is that going to be done? And it's going to be done through the angels, man. It's going to be done through the angels. <laughs> hey, read, read it and weep. You other nations, read it, read it and weep, man. You know? work get this work E you know where is he at right now man where is E you really not hearing shit from you damn devils these days man you don't got nothing to say you good man we don't, don't want to hear what you guys say we don't want to hear what you damn devils got to say man it's best you just stay in the shadows keep you know keep uh, 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 drinking your A your A chrome Keep doing your keep doing your sacrifices, you know. Keep doing your rituals. Keep keep doing what you do, man. All right, and then ultimately be destroyed. That's what we want. All right. Hey, best best believe when we go to get you damn devils, you know who's going first. You know who's going first. You damn elite. We gonna be like get, we gonna be like get, get your ass over here. We gonna be trying to run, falling, you know, stumbling, falling over stuff. You know. All right. We go to. Disrupted as hell, left a big ass cloud of smoke. All right, Woo! this is the book of Psalms, chapter 149, and verse. Uh, five. Oh, Salakia, Salakia. Let me start from the top. Psalms chapter 149 and verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. So this is an old song that is really new. Right? It seems old. Right? Well, it, well, it seems new, but it's really an old song. Right? Our, our forefathers... We're singing this 